We want to bring in Roger Altman, who is the founder and senior chairman of Evercore. And Roger, let me just ask you the question that maybe most people tuning in this morning would like to hear. How secure are you feeling in the financial system today? Good morning, Becky. Well, short term, I think they have stabilized the system. Uh, and they did, given the way they viewed the alternatives, what they had to do. Uh, longer term, this is a breathtaking and profound set of events. Here's an, a banking institution which most Americans never heard of, which was not designated as systemically important. And over a 72-hour period, it threatens the entire financial system and financial market stability. <laughs> and the banking regulators decide to guarantee the deposit base of the entire U.S. financial system, which is certainly what they just did. Now, this is testimony to a whole series of things, and it's also it also carries very profound longer-term implications. It's testimony to the fragility of finance in, an, in the global digital era when institutions and individuals can move money in seconds by swiping their phones, even if they're 100,000 miles away from the bank headquarters. Right. It's testimony in this case to out-of-date re regulation. This institution wasn't seen as systemic. Obviously, given the events of the weekend, it was. And it wasn't subject to stress tests and the tighter, uh, the tighter uh, capital ratio, liquidity, and leverage uh, uh, strictures, which the biggest banks were subject to. It's testimony to out-of-date deposit insurance, 80% of the depositors had uh, uh, deposits at Silicon Valley Bank, which were bigger than $250,000. Long term, uh, I mean, this is a pro profound stuff here. Uh, if you're guaranteeing the entire deposit base of the financial system, will it eventually lead to less disciplined behavior on the part of bank managers? And if you're guaranteeing the key liability of these institutions, does it mean that there will eventually be pressure to limit shareholder returns. There are all kinds of profound questions raised by this. It's just a breathtaking set of events. Sharehold to limit shareholder returns and potentially bankers' returns, too, because if you're not getting paid to be a very good risk manager, what's the point? Um... Well, if the taxpayer is guaranteeing the key liability, should the taxpayer allow uh, the shareholders to, to realize the benefit of that? Now, I hope so, but it's to me, it's just a profound long-term question. Uh, you know, there were a lot of politics involved in this because the bailouts of 2008, 2009 ended up being so, uh, so unpopular that uh, the authorities weren't willing to go in that direction again. For example, as I understand it, and I can't be certain of this, they weren't willing to enter into a deal where they would give certain loss protection to a private buyer, as you saw, for example, in J.P. Morgan Bear Stearns years ago. Uh, and whether or not that meant that there was no private sale possible, whether or not that was the key reason, uh, we'll find out, I suppose. Uh, but it would have been preferable if this could have been sold, because it would have been effectively a private market solution.